evidence is that around a very nearby a cold small star we found seven rocky earth-sized planets all of which could potentially have liquid water James Webb is going to characterize the atmospheres of exoplanets using a technique called transit spectroscopy. If it's watching a planet transit across its star, so the planet passes directly in front of its star from our point of view, a really sensitive telescope can actually pick up those tiny, tiny dips in the starlight and measure that a planet is there. That's how we discovered a lot of the planets that we found. Planets have atmospheres and atmospheres can actually let some of the light pass through them on the way to our telescopes. There are different gases in these atmospheres that can absorb different colors of light. And so by using a really sensitive telescope that can measure what colors of light get absorbed when the planet is being backlit by its star and some of that light is passing through the atmospheres, then we can learn what's in those atmospheres. What gases are there that's absorbing those various colors of light? What are they made of? There's another technique called the phase curve technique. The phase curve technique looks at the planet and the star when the planet is not in front of the star, in fact, the signal from both. And it also looks at them when the planet passes directly behind the star. So in that case, you can only see the signal from the star. And by taking the difference of those two signals, you can figure out what the signal from the planet was if you have a sufficiently sensitive instrument. As so you actually see a lot of them sort of in the sky whipping by in these very short orbital periods. It is an excellent, fantastic discovery.